as the United States gets ready to vote, European leaders are closely watching the tight contest between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. Many of them are anxious how the US election could shape the war in Ukraine and impact Europe's security. European officials are particularly concerned about a Trump victory. It is because of the unpredictable foreign policy during his previous term, his criticism of NATO and mixed stance on Ukraine's war with Russia. Many fear that a perceived Russian win in Ukraine could embolden Moscow to target NATO members. That's a possibility Germany's spy chief has warned about, suggesting that Russia might have the capacity by the decade's end. To mitigate the potential effects of a certain US withdrawal from Ukraine support, Europe and Biden administration have implemented strategies. It includes a $50 billion G7 loan to keep Kyiv supplied with arms. Additionally, NATO has established a new command structure to coordinate military aid for Ukraine, shifting the responsibility from a US-led coalition to NATO itself. While this provides a buffer, Europe acknowledges the US's outsized influence in NATO. Kamala Harris, as vice president, has taken a strong stance against Russia and promised continued support for Ukraine if elected, though she has not provided specific details. Trump has claimed he could end the war swiftly, yet hasn't clarified how. He has criticized US aid to Ukraine, labeling President Zelensky the greatest salesman on earth and accused him of contributing to the start of the war. Trump's campaign spokesperson, Caroline Levitt, asserts that Trump would restore stability worldwide through American strength and shift more defense costs to European nations. The election comes as Kyiv and its allies face new pressures, which is as Russian forces continue to advance in Ukraine's east, Europe faces economic strain and Russia-friendly populist parties are gaining ground. A senior NATO diplomat noted that as war drags on, voices questioning Europe's support for Ukraine are getting louder. To cushion Ukraine from any sudden shift in the US policy, European officials point to the $50 billion G7 loan. This amount is expected to sustain Kyiv's defence efforts through 2025. NATO's decision to move military aid coordination under its own structure is intended to reduce dependence on US political shifts, but its effectiveness remains uncertain. European officials are actively trying to influence Trump's camp, emphasizing that a Ukrainian loss would damage US standing and embolden Russia and China. NATO Secretary General Mark Rutte has warned that the war affects not just Ukraine, but also America's future security. Not all European leaders are wary of Trump. Hungary's Prime Minister Viktor Orban, a Trump ally, opposes military support for Ukraine. Some Eastern European officials even speculate Trump may escalate US involvement, potentially providing Kyiv with more advanced weapons if Russia fails to honor any peace deal he proposes.